Will Russ's shooting improve this season? You saw it. Shannon Sharp. You saw that. Working on it. I am sorry to be the bearer of bad tidings. No, you're not. No, you're but not. I actually laughed out loud when I saw this video okay. last night. I am not overstating this when I say that over his 13 seasons in the National Basketball Association, Russell Westbrook has proven to be the worst superstar jump shooter in the history of pro <laughs> basketball. The worst. He is an abysmal, high-volume, three-point shooter. Yeah. And as the old saying goes, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. I will be the first to admit, I do like the new form in this video because it's a lower launch point. He's getting it down in here where he can get a little more control of it mm -hmm. and get a little more power behind the shot. It's more of a shot put shot, if you will. His usual release is much higher and wilder and harder to control and be consistent with. But just to nail this down for you, since Russell Westbrook entered this league, of the 246 players, that's a lot of players, 246 who have averaged at least three three-point shots per game, Russell is third worst over that 13-year span. Third worst behind Josh Jackson and Baron Davis, believe it or not. And yet Russell is viewed as a superstar, a perennial all-star, yeah. obviously, mm -hmm. a man who in four of the last five years has averaged a triple-double, which is impossibly great. But when it comes to shooting, he is impossibly bad. And I will hand the ball off to you in just a moment. I, I conclude my case against <laughs> Russ by saying, you realize that the, de the shooting demons finally infiltrated his free throw shooting over the last three years because for his first 10 years, he averaged 81% from the free throw line, which will work, yeah. as you know. One year in 2017, he had a crescendo. He made 85% of his free throws in just 2017. I don't know what happened. The demons got a hold of his subconscious not Ben Simmons-like, but, but we're go heading in that direction to where over the last three years, two of them were 66%, including last year, right. and one, well, let's just do the average of the three, with, so he's 69%. So he's 81% for his first 10 years from the free throw line, 69%, that's LeBron-esque, for the last three years. So he, he's even crumbling at the free throw line and I believe all of that is unfixable because when you get in the heat of battle, you will just revert to, to what you know, which is wild, high, three-point shooting. Skip, I, I, it's hard for me to disagree with anything that you just said, but all I can ask a guy to do is to work on the things in the offseason that he feels he needs to improve upon to get better. Russ feels that he needs to his shot. I think a lot of this has to do with shot selection. When you're coming down on the fast break, Skip, how about you not pull up with a 30-foot three? How about do that? Fair. Yeah. It, can, can, yeah. Can, can, it's hard to practice that. You, yeah. you have to learn that. You yeah. have to yeah. sort of convince yourself, I'm not going to do that anymore. Right, right. And so, Skip, if we get better technique, that's a lot of that has to do with if you look at the way Clay Thompson. Now, he's never going to be one of those shooters. We're not going to ask him to be, Skip. And he's not a very good three-point shooter. But can we get him to 35%? That's all. Skip, I, I'm just saying... We don't need you 42%, but we can't have you at 26% like you were in Houston. We can't have you at 29% or 30%. Can we just get you to 35? And I think a lot of that has to do with shot selection. I also believe playing alongside AD, playing alongside LeBron James will help him take better shots. Get, he'll get better opportunities mm -hmm. because they double down on LeBron. Now you get an opportunity to cut to the basket, lay the ball up. They double down AD. You could, now, he's going to have to knock down some of these wide-open shots, Skip. He's going to get a lot of opportunities. He, he's going to get a whole bunch of because yes. they will dare him. Yes, to yes. And, and, that, and that's something that, hey, he's working on. Skip, at the end of the day, that's all you can ask is the guy working in the offseason. Some of the questions that we've asked about Ben Simmons, is he really working on that jump shot or is he just telling us he's working because come game, we don't never see him even attempt it. At least we know Russ is in the gym. He's working on it. What has he done for the last 13 off-seasons? Has he worked on it? No, I, I believe, Skip, if he takes better shot selections, okay. I believe that has a lot. Skip, you don't always, even, even if you're not pulling up with a three, Skip, 
trying to pull up a three-on-one fast break and you try to kiss the ball out the backboard, that's not a high percentage shot. If we just try to increase, get a little closer to the backboard, the jump shots will be there. We can always get a 30-foot three, Skip, but how about take a 15-foot shot? How about try to get all the way to the basket and maybe get fouled or dish it off? So I think a lot of that has to do with that. Better shot selection. And Justin's like, you know what? Now is not the time for me to do that. But I love what I'm seeing. I love the guy that's in the gym, working on his craft, trying to get better, trying to improve. Mm. We're not trying to teach an uh, old dog new trick. Mm. We're trying to teach an old dog to improve on the tricks he already knows. Okay. So this old dog has averaged 31% <laughs> from the three-point line over 13 years. But he actually, maybe he worked the previous offseason, he was actually a tick better than 31. He was 32% in Washington last year. Mm -hmm. Guess where that ranked? That was 150th of 156 qualified three-point shooters. 150 of 156. It's bottom of the barrel. We just tried to get him to 35, 36 percent. If you could, it would be gold as in Fort Knox gold. Yeah. As in bubble championship gold. It would be another championship gold. Yeah. As in gold championship. Okay. Here's why. He will not work. He will not oh, fit. This is why he will drive LeBron James, highest basketball IQ in the game, out of his mind, mm -hmm. out of his basketball mind. Four times he has led the league in turnovers, and four other times he's been second in turnovers. That's eight out of 13 years. So what makes him Russ? What makes him go? Why, why is he must-see TV for me? I, I don't miss a Russ game because he is – he, he is like a roller coaster ride of he's going to get a triple double. He's going to get, he, he's going to average double digit rebounds at six feet three. I don't believe he does okay. that this year. Okay, well maybe not. I don't even know how he averages ten plus assists. He's led the league in assists. He led it last year right. in assists. They're weird assists because they're not LeBron esque. Where you say, oh, what a sweet pass that was. Right. He doesn't do that. He drives it like no one's ever driven it at six feet three. He is the most athletic point guard we've ever seen. And I know Derrick Rose is in that debate conversation. Right, he's right there, right? Right. He's right there. But Russ is at the peak. He's the epitome of the athletic yeah. point guard. So he can't really shoot a lick from three or even mid-range twos are scary, bad, inconsistent but he can get to the rim. Right. He might hurt you at the free throw line here in the last three years, but he can get to the get rim. Get you in foul trouble. Okay. And then that LeBron and AD be at the foul he can line. He get you in foul trouble. He learned about five years ago that if he gets to the rim and draws two people and two arms extended, if you just drop it on the floor for Steven Adams, he's going to dunk it, and you're going to get a in the assist column, you get another big one, right? right? So his assists are either dump-offs or – pass out of the lane assist where he just whips it out to the perimeter, right? Can I ask you this? What impact do you believe playing alongside AD and LeBron will have on Russ? I think LeBron will have tremendous impact for a while through the regular season. Where he really reverts is in the playoffs. What, what has he been with no KD? Without KD in the playoffs, Russ is 8 and 21. Well, you can say, well, he didn't have Kevin Durant, the best right. player on the planet. But that's the that's the point. So will that go up? Will his his playoff percentages yeah, go up just because he's playing alongside LeBron? Yes. Or will will LeBron try to win in spite of Russ no. and not be able to overcome him? Because what, that's what's going to happen to me. The thing that upsets you most about LeBron is that he instead of taking the game over like a Jordan or Kobe, he always tries to ingratiate everybody else. So he's not going to try okay, to win. How do you ingratiate a guy who can't shoot? Easy. Get him layups. Get him Get layups. it. That's what we do. Okay. Well, hey, we just, we just, if he can't shoot threes, we get him closer to the basket. Okay. He can't shoot 15 footers, we get him layups and dunks. That's what we do, Skip. Four times he's led this league in usage rate, how much he has the ball in his hand, and four other times he was second in usage rate. Do you think he's going to be happy to see the ball again and again yeah. in LeBron's hands? At the end of the day, Skip. A lot of times we overlook and not see the value because we're so caught up in telling what someone can't do instead of finding out what he can do real mm. well and let's, let, let's play to his strength. Mm. Let's, let's stay in that wheelhouse right there. Your wheelhouse would be having Rajon Rondo at the point guard, Rondo is LeBron at the two, Rond Rondo. and AD at the four Skip. or five. Skip. That's your wheelhouse. Skip. When was the last time you saw a guy not start for four or five years and all of a sudden become a starter again? 
I'm just telling you that would work for but you. But you said you told me what would work when they got playoff run to the Clippers. Well, that I thought it work. would. Okay, but they're a different bunch with different mentality. And once you challenge and humiliate Kawhi Leonard. Him, he, uh, of, Kawhi humiliated him. Uh, coming in that man face after mm -hmm. he had just come off winning a title. Okay. Pat made you a great pass. And you are going to talk about what's wrong with that pay, a bad pass. Do you think the first time LeBron gags the last second shot, which will happen, do you think Rondo will get up in his face and say, what are you doing? You're better than no, that? No, 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 no. That's not what Rondo. He, mm -hmm. he saw Rondo out. Rondo was a hey, pass the ball. Kawhi sought him out. Mm. He's like, I saw LeBron hit many of those. Mm. Any which he has. Mm. You could have Buddy healed at the two and Rondo at the one. And then LeBron could go ahead and play the whatever he wants to play, four he's talking about. No. Then you'd be loaded. Then you'd be We're championship bound. We're loaded now. We're championship bound now. Yeah, you're loaded with a gun that's going to blow up in your face. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. guess what? We, it's going to be us in the nest. That's what you want to see. That's what I want to see. I do want to see that. And, and you're not going to get home. We're getting home. Kawhi's coming back before you know. First of all, Skip, let, let that go. Let that go. That's over. <laughs> Kawhi, they're shooting videos. All he want to do is be in Drake's video. Mm. Yeah, that's all he wants to he's do. He's kind of coming out like Brady is, you know, where he's starting to flaunt. That's all he wants to do yeah. in all white. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's starting to, sh to show no, out a little bit. I know he's yeah. <laughs> no, so? not. Yeah. I, I don't know if that appearance in the music video. Yeah, you saw that, Jenny. That's all he really wants to do. Not, it wasn't that impressive. I don't know. No, I'm being mean. That's not very nice. I, I mean, I just want to hear more from him. Kawhi, I just want to get to know him better. And no. I like getting to know him. I know Tom enough about him. Over the last well, he couple years. he slept at that ceremony the other yeah, day. Yeah, you saw that. <laughs> <laughs> it was the band. The band yeah, put anybody well, to it's sleep. Hard. It's hard. I right? totally mm -hmm. get it sometimes. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.